about to head up to my apartment gym and do a workout I've been really enjoying Sammy Clark workouts recently she has the best workouts if you enjoy doing like body weight exercises or light dumbbell kind of hit exercises but it's definitely more of like a low impact workout which I really love doing so I'm probably just gonna do a 30 minute arms and abs workout I'm trying to find which one I want to do granola butter is my recent obsession it's so dang good I've been putting it on my protein oatmeal like every morning and I'm just obsessed if you've never tried it before you need to I got it in my Thrive Market a couple weeks ago and it's so good guys look at what drunk elephants sent over they gave me so many products in this huge cooler so freaking cute i'm obsessed with drunk elephant you guys know i'm always raving about their products so a lot of these are things that i've already had before and i'm excited because i've been needing a restock of the proteiny peptide cream also i've been seeing this at sephora and i've been wanting to try it so i'll have to Try this out and let you guys know how I like it. Same with the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurface Serum. I've seen like a bunch of people talk about this on TikTok, so I might try this out tonight or something. But I'm so excited. That was so unexpected. I'm so grateful. You guys know I love my skincare, obviously. It's like three o'clock right now. It's so much later, but I'm gonna head over to Costco. There's honestly not too much that I need but I'm gonna go fill up my car with gas there. And then also, um, I need like two things specifically and they only sell it at Costco, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, I was getting some work done and um, taking care of that stuff and also tidying up my apartment a little bit. I feel like when I'm filming, it just gets so messy so quickly, which is all my fault, so. No one to blame but myself. <laughs> Thank you. 
I definitely ended up getting way more at Costco than anticipated, but it's okay. I'll just have to make myself lots of salads this week and not eat out or anything because I have so much lettuce to go through. Um, I got this spring mix and I didn't even realize I have a whole thing from Trader Joe's of spring mix that I need to use up. So I'll probably make a salad tonight. One of my favorite like go-to lazy dinners is making a veggie burger salad. So that's probably what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, lots of greens. So my fridge is definitely like organized chaos right now. I got a pineapple. I love having like fresh cut fruit on hand. And then I just cut up this romaine because I'm gonna make taco salads this week with this ground beef from Trader Joe's. And then obviously my favorite vegan nacho dip. I swear I talk about that in like every video because it's just so good. And then um, from Costco picked up my favorite little protein shakes. I love using this as creamer in at my iced coffee in the mornings. Got my Alani new. We're just doing a whole little fridge tour right now. Um, also these Olipop drinks, so fire, I love them. I'm a big beverage gal, so I like having these on hand. This is the Tropical Punch flavor, and then I also have the Vintage Cola one, which is really good. This is kind of like a very similar thing as well, these Revive drinks that I get in my Thread Market box. But yeah, that's what I got going on. So definitely got lots of groceries but we're stocked up for the next week or so. Also, I don't even think I've shown you all these yet, but I got these mugs during the Amazon sale and I just got them in the mail today and they're so freaking cute. And then also another coffee little glass thing that I got was for my iced coffee and these are just so cute. I love the little gold rim. Um, so I can link both of those in my Amazon store for you guys. This day has like flown on by. I feel like I did nothing, but also, I feel like I did a lot at the same time, you know? I painted my nails, so that's what makes me feel put together. Now that my nails are done, I'm like, okay, because I never have my nails done, and if I do, they're chipped half the time. And my nail beds right now are looking terrible. I feel like I have so many hang nails going on. It's just not cute. Um, but the nail combo I did is the OPI Sweetheart. So it's like this light pink color I got it last night. Um, at CVS because I was like really craving an at-home Hailey Bieber nail moment and then I picked up the Essie Express um, What color is this? It's in the color iced out and this is what helps add like the chrome kind of effect to the nails Try it out. It's kind of a fire combo. Honestly, at least I think it is but anyways, I'm rambling on I'm gonna make dinner and then get some editing done and I'll catch up with you guys a bit later, probably when I'm getting ready for bed and showering and everything. Tonight I wanna to try out the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurfacing Serum that I got um, in my PR package. So it's like this and I'm gonna use it with the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is the moisturizer I use literally like every single morning and night. So comes out like very watery, which is why I like putting it right on the moisturizer. Mix it in. It kind of feels a little bit oily, but not too much, which I like. It's definitely more of like a water-based serum, I'm pretty sure. It says that it's supposed to help with the appearance of skin texture, tone, radiance and bounce so we love that put this spot treatment on this is just like the Neutrogena um, rapid clear acne gel and I just put that on any active breakouts I have like very stubborn breakouts right now like no matter what I do they just stay on my face which is kind of irritating but whatever what can you do now I'm just gonna brush through my hair. My hair has gotten so freaking long, um, but I swear it's because I've been using this oil constantly, which I'll show you guys. It's the Oi oil. I've actually talked about this in a recent video a few vlogs ago. It's freaking incredible. And I swear this is what makes my hair so healthy. Um, also, I don't really use that much heat on it. 
Um, pretty much I only will use heat if I'm doing something like extraordinary, which is not often. So I don't really use heat much. And then another thing I love using is the Bumble and Bumble um, Blonde Tone Enhancing Leave-In Conditioner. So I'll just spritz that throughout the hair as well. Um, Cause it kind of acts as like a detangler. And then that's literally all I do for my hair care. Super simple, but yeah, this is a game changer. So I can leave this link for you guys. I get it at Nordstrom and it's my favorite hair care product like ever. <laughs> I just grabbed my book. I'm about to head to bed in a little bit. It's like 9.45, so I have an early morning tomorrow, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of reading. I'm almost finished with this book, and I love it so far. And then I made myself some tea in my cutie mugs that I got today. I love them. They're the best. So I'm gonna head to bed, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Washing all of the bedding makes me feel so complete. I love it, even though it takes forever, but um, I have all of my Brooklinen sheets. I've shown you guys these in a video before. All of my bedding, Brooklinen. So I can leave a link below because I'm pretty sure I still have an active code for Brooklinen, so definitely check it out. Also, I get a million questions about my headboard, and this is from the brand Lulu in Georgia, and I'm pretty sure they still sell it, so I can link it for you guys, but it's very, very cute. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is you guys can't really tell on camera, but it's a little more ivory than it appears. So that's the only bummer because it does look really weird against like bright whites. So that's why um, I wanted to get all of my sheets and like my duvet and everything this soft gray color because the white that I had previously just didn't work well. Um, but yeah, that's the bedding situation. I feel so much more complete now that I have that all taken care of this morning. Honestly, I was trying my hardest to resist the urge to make a coffee, but I have so much work to get done, and I'm like, the only way that I'll actually get it done is if I make myself some coffee right now. And now that I just made my bed, I'm like, oh, it looks so inviting. But no, we're gonna make coffee. 
get our ish done and my to-do list is large so I know I don't need to make coffee late in the afternoon but I have a big to-do list so that's my excuse today plus my coffee lately has not been hitting in the morning it's been like giving me a weird stomach ache whenever I have it right away so we're gonna I'm just honestly making excuses. Does it give me a stomachache? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking that in my head. This is my favorite part. Beautiful. Okay. Honestly, this alone makes me feel productive. Okay, I did not intend to match my straw to my outfit, but you know what? I guess that's just what's going on. But as I was saying, I have quite a big to-do list, so... I'm gonna get cracking at it. This is pretty much the to-do list of things that I wanna get done this week. I mean, I have still some time to do it, but a lot of it is just like cranking out videos, editing TikToks, which I actually love doing. I edit all of my TikToks on Final Cut Pro on my computer because it's just way easier for me to do. Um, so we're gonna take care of the to-do list, drink the coffee. I also need to put on my blue light glasses because believe it or not, I like, I don't know. Okay. Anytime I have my blue light glasses on, you know I'm in business and I'm going to be staring at my computer for the next couple of hours. So that's literally what I'm doing right now. dinner and drinks tonight which I'm really looking forward to but I feel like I haven't caught up with you guys in a second I've been busy today so obviously I was getting a lot of work done and then I took a break for a little bit and just went and chilled by the pool because I was like I need some sun and I just need to stop staring at my computer screen because I was getting a headache obviously and I just need a little break from that once in a while so went and did that and then um came back finished up some work and then my friend lauren wanted to go for a beach walk so we just went and walked on the beach for like an hour or so which was nice to get outside i haven't done that in a minute and then now we're here i'm just getting ready we're going to this restaurant tonight called holly blue which i'm really looking forward to because i've never been there before but it looks so freaking cute and their drinks just look like gorgeous so um, we're gonna head there for dinner and drinks, just me and some friends. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's happening. It'll be a nice little end to the day just because I feel like I was so incredibly busy today and I was in my apartment majority of the day just getting stuff done. So it'll be nice to get outside and, or not get outside, but get out of my apartment. This lighting is like awful, but I still wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm just about to head out right now to dinner and this top is so cute. I got this from Revolve. I can leave it linked below. I think it was like under 50 bucks and it's so cute. I love the open back it has. And then these jeans are from Abercrombie. I believe these are like the 90s straight jean. I'll try to find them and link them as well. And then just some platform sandals from TJ Maxx and then my white little Louis bag that I wear literally with every outfit. I feel like it's the perfect shoulder bag for the summer. And yeah, but I'm gonna head out and then I'll probably have like a chill night when I get back. I might do a face mask or something depending upon how tired I am or not. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm. 